Alright, so on this episode, as you can see, I've already got the box sitting in there, but I've got to move it back. Um, I've cut a piece of timber, the same length as what the big block with the turbos is, and we're going to use that as our measuring tool off the face of the gearbox here. So we'll, um, we'll, we'll get the gearbox in and mounted and push back, and we'll, we'll see where we sit and how far in and then we can start thinking about mid plates. So let's get into that, hey? Let's go. Yeah, I'm the one to get it, bro. I swear to God, I'll get it, bro. Hey, I ain't never giving up. Yeah, I never did. I got this, man, I got it I will rock when I'm on it Never rock it Got the block when I'm toxic Spitting logic Alright, so as you can see I've got our bit of timber here And when I line that up on the box I don't know if you can see Probably not But it lines up with the front of the radiator support Which is not going to be suffice um, Everything will fit behind But I still want to get this box back further so we're going to have to try and push it back and see how far we can get it. And then hopefully we can solid mount this mid plate to the firewall here along that way. And, um, and it would give us a sturdy base for it. So we could fasten it to the chassis. This will be closed in, obviously. Um, bolt it inside with some spreader plates and everything like that. And then we'll still, because it's further out, we'll still have access to grab the two top bolts and everything will just fit. So let's grab a look underneath and we'll, we'll see what we're looking at. But we're trying to fit a lot of engine and turbo into a very, very small bay. So let's see how we go here. All right, so as you can see, I already drilled a set of holes, but it didn't come back far enough. So I've drilled another set and then, but I'm seriously thinking about taking this plate off here and welding it on the back and filling these in. Um, I just think it's gonna give us what we need out of all of this. And we should be, we should be pretty right for distance. Now this prop shaft is gonna have to be cut down. So I'm gonna separate this at the joint here and um i'm gonna send that away send that away to be machined and shortened because we've bottomed out here um and yeah so at the moment i'm gonna just separate that prop shaft and i will pull pull this out and i will switch the um the mount around to the other side and then we should have enough like room because they're elongated holes under there as you can see so we should have enough room to bolt it up and slide it back and forth and see where we want this thing to sit so probably when we mount the big block we will bolt that loosely on this side and we will go from there and see where we are see where we are in the way of mounting positions and then go from there, we can mount the um, mid plate. So I'll get into that. And then when you join me next time, it'll be around the other way. A few moments later. All right, so I've cut it all apart, ready to weld it back together. Backwards, of course. I'll fill in these holes and clean them up and I'll repaint it and then we'll go from there. So, here we go.
so I'll clean that up and um, I'll paint it black like it was so and then we'll mount it back in the car we'll try and mount this box to it and and see where we're at sorry about the dogs barking I can't help that but yeah so anyways I'll clean this up paint it black and we'll get it back mounted and then we'll start moving this box back in and see what we get out of it all right so here we are i've got it bolted up i've reversed the mount as you can see there i've got i bought some smaller high tensile bolts put them in um i've basically got the box sitting where it needs to be now um which is even with the firewall so if i i'll just quickly jump out here And as you can see, it's even with the, well, it's a bit crooked at the moment, but it's it's even with the firewall. Um, so we should be able to get a mid plate in there. Um, it'll sit there like that for now, and I'll start taking some measurements. But if we put our yard stick in, which my measuring device, it comes up just short, or oh, just a little over that rad support which is where we wanted it in the first place. Um, so everything's, everything seems pretty good. We should be able to get it back far enough so it'll fit now. And, um, and yeah, so next episode, I'll be taking some measurements on the big block. We'll see how this all sits and um, we will see what we can do and and try and get it in there. I'll order a mid plate and we'll see if we can get this mounted and sorted. So yeah, meanwhile in that time, I'll probably enclose that part of the chassis and I'll take the two mounts off the cross member and we'll try and clean all this up and, and get it sorted and, and I'll remove all the master cylinder and everything and yeah, we'll try and shoehorn this big block in We'll see how we go. But anyways, that'll be it for this episode. So like I said, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. It helps me out a lot, um, especially the subscribing and the sharing. That's a, That plays a big part of it. So if you want to keep following this journey and, and any, anybody else has a big block or a VN Commodore and want to see how it fits, well, stay tuned. All right, guys, till the next episode. I'll see you then.